what you need to do with the, with the files in this case, and then you check it back in. And again, this allows for um, people, you know, a team that may, may, may be made up of a, s a couple people in the U.S. and, s and a couple people in Asia and, and someone in, in Europe. And basically all those people will be able to see the latest version of their model, um, be able to work collaboratively with each other. And in this, in this fashion, um, there's, no, um, there's no issue of, of having to share one large file, you know, which um, basically each one of the files, if you, if you look, is, is fairly small and manageable, um, contains quite a bit of data, but no one file is, uh, is particularly huge, and so it allows for for um, uh, a very uh, diverse geographical um, collaboration, and it also it also um, if you know if if you're working in a place where the internet is not very fast, still it still allows you to um, to uh, to work and and collaborate with your team no matter what your situation may be. So, let me just talk um, a little bit about uh, the beginning when we open the model and this uh, CGR mode. So, CGR, um, when we open the model, you may have noticed a window at the at the lower right, which said CGR creation. Um, and basically what that's doing is it's taking the model, it's sampling it, and it's giving you a, an accurate representation, but at a much smaller um, size. So that uh, you can have a computer which is not, you know, the, the most overloaded, um, but still manage to, to open and view the whole model. Um, I know that in some cases, when you're dealing with some modeling environments, once you, you max out the memory, well, then you can't, you can't necessarily view the whole model. Maybe you can only view parts of the model. This is the way that um, the digital project manages that, is that basically you only have loaded into memory exactly what you're editing, and everything else you're looking at is in a special CGR mode. And CGR stands for, uh, for Cartographic um, Representation, Graphical Representation. So, so basically, and you can tell visually, um, one way to tell visually that, that things are in CGR mode is that they look, uh, when you mouse, mouse over them, they look kind of uh, tessellated, like there's broken up into little triangles. And you can see the difference um, just visually between whether it's in CGR mode or whether it's uh, whether it's in editing mode is if you just double click. If you double click it, you've you've entered an, the editing of that part, and you can see now that when I when I uh, mouse over it, it's now all I see is the outline of the of the wall. And so now this whole this whole part that contains these walls is now in editing mode. And maybe I'll just double click again, show you how that's. So basically, that's a quick way to to switch these these model this model from from representation mode to editing mode. Um, there's another way um, you can do that um, if you're if you're navigating through the model tree, and um, let's say I'm gonna go ahead and and edit these uh, this this curtain wall. Okay, so you can see right now it's in it's in CGR mode. So if I if I select the the curtain wall um, file, 
I have a little tool over here which, which says design mode. And this is the same thing as what I was saying before um, about editing mode. So <clears throat> basically it's saying, do you want to become the designer for this part? Okay, say so yes, I want to I wanna start editing this part. And it's going to go through and it's going to load that file. And so now I can, I can see the different elements. And again, I'm just expanding the tree by clicking the, the plus sign here. And you may have to expand it again um, in the plus sign there. But basically, um, these files, uh, this file contains um, these parts. <clears throat> and if, if we wanted to, um, if we wanted to start uh, working within this file, then we double click the, the part right here. And you can see that now that that part is highlighted in blue. And you may also notice that our tool set changed. Um, if you look around the perimeter here, the, the tool sets are different. We basically switched from the project workbench to the geometry workbench. Um, and this is something that happens automatically when you, you go from uh, working at the product level of the tree and um, the... Uh, and then and then switching into the uh, editing a, a particular part. So if I double click the the project product at the very top, you can see again I switch back to the project workbench. So that all happens automatically. Um, I also just want to show real quick that uh, if I have something in editing mode, but I want to return it back to visualization mode, there's this this little eye icon in the the right here, and if I click that, it turns it right back. And that's important if you're if you're working in the model and you've um, you have a lot of parts loaded and it's starting to um, to take up too much of your memory, you can always go back and, and return it to, to the visualization mode and, and, uh, and just work within the, the part that you... Um, work within the part that you uh, had a, you, you need to work on. Okay. Um, one thing I should I should show real quick is now I tend to use the the, the buttons um, along the perimeter here, and if for some reason um, you have a hard time finding these or locating these buttons, the way that you can bring them up, if you just find a blank spot within the the perimeter here and right click. Now these are all the the tool sets. Um, the ones checked are the ones that are up right now. Um, for instance, uh, the tool set that, that this design mode and this visualization mode is located is under representation. So if I, if I click that off, it, it disappears. If I click it back on, it's right there. Now you may, if, if you click it on, you may notice that it's floating out here in the middle of the window somewhere. But you can always you can always grab the, the upper part and just drag it over, and as soon as you you come over the perimeter here, it snaps right into place. And if for some reason the um, you you've kind of dragged some out and closed some, and and you want to return things back to the way they were before, you can right click, go to customize. And go to, and then you'll see some tabs up here, and go to toolbars, and then um, you want to click restore all contents. So this is going to pull up any any toolbars that were closed 
accidentally or otherwise. And then 